Hey y'all, I clearly have broccoli here in front of me. This is probably a very familiar vegetable to most of you out there, if not all of you out there. I think nine times out of 10 when I ask someone to mention a vegetable, broccoli is what they mention. So this is pretty common. But I'm still gonna walk you through the process of how to take broccoli like this, as you're gonna find it a lot often in the stores where it's in this kind of bunch, and break it down to a usable form uh, for cooking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the heads from the stock. Sometimes you'll want to just buy a head and that's fine. And you can, you know, just get the florets at the top. But there might be times when you want to have the stock attached too. And I'm going to show you what you can actually do with the stock because I think oftentimes we don't like buying broccoli with the stock attached because we feel like we end up just throwing this part away and it feels wasted, which I totally get. But once you know how to deal with the broccoli stock, uh, this part might actually be your favorite part. It turns out to often has be mine, particularly when I roast the broccoli. Enough of that. All right, so we've got these two heads. What we're gonna do is sort of take them down into more usable chunks, pieces. So what I like to do is I'm gonna cut basically so, they, so it starts to fall apart, so they start to break apart. And it will just naturally break into florets like that. And as, as more come off, then I just cut that stock again, see, and it just keeps making more florets as I go. And then cut again, and boom. And that's probably the last cut I would do. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at this and say, okay, I've got actually a lot of different sizes of florets and I want them to be much more evenly sized. Remember, the more even the pieces, the more even it cooks, which is usually you know, gonna be a good thing because if we have like these small pieces and these large chunks, these are gonna end up super crisp and overcooked and this is gonna be undercooked. So if we have uniform size, cooks evenly, that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna take, these are my small pieces, right? They don't have to be the exact same size, but at least closer in size than they are now. And then really it's just a matter of cutting in half or cutting in pieces, right? So not that difficult. And then I can keep cutting everything else and I have my easy pieces. So that's that for broccoli. If I wanted to, I could rice broccoli too, and I could take it in this piece state and put it into a food processor like I would cauliflower or something and pulse it and kind of create broccoli rice. It's not gonna be as firm as cauliflower, but you know, still another alternative too. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of other uses for broccoli that I know of or different like ways to cut it. So that's really, that's really what you're gonna do primarily. Now, what are we gonna do with these stalks? I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna cut off that end because it's, pretty stiff or tough rather I should say as you can tell. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make four cuts to turn this into kind of uh, into a square shape or a rectangular shape. So cut down one side, so cut off all that really woody fibrous outside that's not very pleasant to eat. Cut again, turn, cut again. And voila, now I have just, you know, a long piece of inner broccoli-ness. <laughs> I don't even know what the heck to call that. And from there, what I would usually do is cut it in half just to make it a little bit more manageable size. And then I cut like this, and then maybe cut once down the middle. And then those are kind of little broccoli fries. Or I could cut, if I really wanted to, like little broccoli slices, or maybe, go like that, or even after I've cut it in slices, cut once down here, whoop, and then cut that way and do a little small dice. You could do this, you could put it in like any kind of stew or soup and kind of throw some broccoli stock in there. That would be really lovely. So, but for roasting, this is the shape and the size for the broccoli that I recommend, these kind of little broccoli fries. And this part gets so yummy, I promise you guys. So give that a try. That is it, I think, on broccoli.